It takes quite a while to spot what's different about this farm. Located on the north coast of New South Wales, it's prime country, and it looks it. And the farmer himself, Ian Mason, doesn't look out of place on a trail bike as he rides to the muster. Perhaps he doesn't quite fit the traditional mould, but at least his property looks normal enough. But what Ian really produces is far from the traditional rural product as you can get. Here, the horses and cars have only one purpose, to keep the grass neatly trimmed. Superphosphate has been replaced by super technology on Australia's first and foremost music farm. Ian Mason is a country boy at heart. After growing up in the bush, he carved out a career in the big city as a top writer of advertising music. Now he's back on the farm composing an album without a band on the Fairlight Music Computer. Not a day, another dollar. <laughs> Take a <bite. laughs> The Fairlight, an all-Australian invention, records the basic sound of every instrument. Ian programs it to create the notes with all the rhythm and all the feeling of an actual band. And the album is created on the 24-track recorder. Eight clicks. <laughs> the Music Farm is one of Australia's top five recording studios, but it's more than that. There's also top quality accommodation with the emphasis on rustic charm. Guests who have recharged their creative batteries here include Paul McCartney and Rod Stewart and most of the top Australian bands and performers as well. Favourite spot on the property is the swimming hole where the musicians and their friends relax in preparation for a nighttime recording session. Although the guests are invited to take part in the traditional farming activities as well, it's still very much a musician's atmosphere rather than a farmer's. Well, the basic principle of the music farm is that you can't make good music unless you're having a good time. And we find that the artists who come here, they usually go into the studio and they're all wrung out and tired and strung out from being on the road and everything. And they work like crazy for the first three days. Then one morning they just wake up and kabang, they relax and they realize where they are and the things about them and the things they can do. The creative environment here, when they have a place like this to come to and relax and get it together if they wish and revitalize for the next session, well, I believe it just helps them make better music. Warming up for a studio session, with the Buller Mechanicals, one of Australia's most popular exponents of what's known as bushgrass music. Yeah. Studio sessions are a mixture of the serious uh, and the absurd. Um, presents, where are the presents? Yeah, and uh, we need some helpers, Santa's helpers, you know, little red guys. And, um, oh yes, yeah, Santa. <laughs> Ready when you are. And the only thing harder than getting a musician to stop playing is right, getting him started. Slip into it. <laughs> Take one. I'm a kangaroo, I'm a 
on the porch and watch the possums play. Give me a hand among the gum trees with lots of plum trees. A sheep or two up a kangaroo, a first one out the back. Veranda out the front and an old rocking chair.